Hello boys and girls. Good morning. My name is Teacher Selina or Teacher Celine. Any of us can do. I have no problem. It is a lovely Sunday morning that we are here again in the house of the Lord. And this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I'm excited to be here. And I hope that you have been keeping safe by washing your hands and running water with soap. You have been putting on your little face masks. I have mine here. And I also hope that you have been keeping social distance. And especially when you when you're where many people are, please try and keep distance. Wow. I want us to open with a word of prayer as we begin our lesson this morning. And as good boys and girls, let's put our hands together and our heads we bow and our eyes we close and let us pray. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for this beautiful day that you have enabled us to be in your presence. Lord, we thank you for this is the day that you have made. And we are glad. And just like David said, that I was glad when they said, let us go into the house of the Lord. We are glad. We are excited. Because we know, Lord, that you dwell in the praises of your people. And this morning, we welcome your presence, Lord. We welcome your Holy Spirit to take charge even of our service. May you open our hearts and our minds to hear and to understand your word this day. Father, I thank you and I pray this few believing and trusting in the mighty name of Jesus. And everybody say, Amen. Good. Before I go on, I want us to praise Jesus, to praise the Lord with a song that says, Jesus, name above all names. I hope you will be blessed and you can sing along with us. Welcome.
Well, as I go on, I would like us to review on our last Sunday lesson. And I'm glad to invite our good friends to help us remember what we learned last Sunday. Welcome, our good friends. My name is Trinity Daniel. I am six years old. My name is David. I'm 12 years old. My name is Moses. I am eight years old. You have learned about prayer. Prayer is talking to God through Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit. You have the Holy Spirit help, helps us to pray. The memory verse, Romans chapter 8, verse 26, says, Holy Spirit, help us to pray. Luke 11, 13, it says, God gives us, God, God our Father gives us the Holy Spirit. Psalms chapter 139, it's verse 4. It says, God knows all our words. Amen. 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 Good. Thank you, good boys and girls, for reminding us of what we learned. Well done. I can see that most of you listen and tune in to our YouTube and Facebook for the service, online service. And I'm sure Pastor Rhoda is also happy and God is also happy because you are good boys and girls. That was very good. Thank you. And our Bible reading today is taken from Luke chapter 18, verse 35 to 43. Are we together? Luke, I hope you have your Bibles oh, and your notebook. And your pen. Yeah? Open Luke chapter 18, verse 35 to 43. You can write it down, note it down on your note on notebooks, because you can as well read it later. What I'll do now, I'll just narrate the story for you. But make sure you read the story yourself from the Word of God, from your Bible. I have mine here. But because I'm going to narrate, I will not read for today. So as I go on, I want us to do a small exercise before I narrate my story. I want you to close your eyes. Close your eyes, boys and girls. Make sure you close them tightly. See, ile akuchungulia. I'm also closing mine. Let me remove my glasses. Usichungulia. Wengine wanafunganga macho hivi. No. Some close their eyes like this. No. If you know you can't close, just Put your hand on your eyes and make sure they are tightly closed. And what can you see when your eyes are closed? Can you see anything? No. Can you see your, your mom or your dad? No. Can you see me on your screen if you are really closed your eyes? Can you see me? No. Good. Open your eyes now. What did you see while your eyes were closed? Nothing but total darkness. I closed mine and I saw nothing but darkness. Allow me to put on my glasses now. What do you see? What did you see? We saw nothing, yeah? Have you ever thought what or how it would be like 
not to be able to see. It must have been boring to be in darkness all the time for Batimaeus. That is the kind of life Batimaeus, the blind guy, lived. He could see nothing day, all day long. In the morning, he could see only darkness, nothing but darkness. In the noontime, darkness. In the evening, darkness. At night, darkness. That means he, he, he was blind and he was born blind. He had never seen anything. He didn't even know how his mother or father looked like. He didn't even know how he looked like because he had never seen. He lived in total darkness. Yeah? I can imagine how much he wanted to see. He really desired that one day he could see and see his friends and see his parents, but he wasn't able. But one day, one day, Jesus and his followers were leaving Jericho to go to Jerusalem. When they met this blind man named Bartimaeus. Can we all say Bartimaeus? Bartimaeus. And he was called blind Bartimaeus because of his blindness. And because of this, he wasn't able to have a job like other people. And so, the only way for him to get money he needed for food and clothing was to beg. Did you see that blind man in our skit here? The way he would sit along the, the roadside and beg because he depended on the little money people would give him on the road. That is what he could buy food for himself. I don't know. Maybe he had a family and buy food for his children. Maybe, perhaps. I don't know. And even his clothing were not so neat because the money he got on the street, on the roadside when, while begging was not much. Oh, poor Bati Myers. He lived a uh, a life that wasn't pleasing. So, boys and girls, Batimaeus sat along the busy road and begged day after day. People would hear him call out for help. Some would help. You saw some of them helping in our short skit, and some were passing by and just Sonia him. Huh? Mm. This blind beggar every day. Every day he's here begging. And that is the kind of life Bati Myers lived. It wasn't so pleasing. But one day, boys and girls, Bati Myers had many people walking down the road. And you know, because he, he couldn't see, he was so keen of what was going on. And his ears would help him. He would hear people walk. Ta, 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 ta. Some were walking in kodong, kodong, dong, 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 dong. Some were walking in slippers. Shua, 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 shua. And all kinds of footsteps. He heard keenly. He heard and there was too much dust and he wondered what is happening here today? What is happening around here today? Why too much footsteps and too many, too much dust around here? And because he couldn't see, 
He couldn't point on anyone to ask and know what was happening. But what could help him was his voice. He could talk. And so he, he asked, Hey, somebody, what is happening? What is happening here today? I'm hearing so many footsteps. And as he was listening keenly, perhaps he heard a voice singing. Jesus is passing this way, this way, this way. Jesus is passing this way. He's passing this way today. Can I hear someone singing? And he listened keenly. And he asked himself, is he mentioning the name of Jesus? I think I have heard about Jesus. This name Jesus, I have heard about it before. And he listened keenly. And the voice kept coming. Jesus is passing this way. It could have been a Sunday school girl or a boy singing a song. Teacher Selena taught them in Sunday school. And she kept singing. Jesus is passing this way. This way. This way. Jesus is passing this way. He's passing this way today. Ah, and blind Bartimaeus said, I'm sure I heard it right. Jesus, hey! He still wanted to be sure and he asked, Excuse me? You said Jesus? And someone answered him, Yes! It is Jesus of Nazareth. He's passing by. And Bartimaeus was excited. He said to himself, I have heard about this Jesus. Isn't he the same Jesus who performed miracles? I must get to this Jesus. And if I get to him, I'm sure this blindness will be taken away. I will be healed of this blindness. And so he kept shouting, Jesus, Jesus, son of David, son of God, have mercy on me. And do you know what, boys and girls? As he kept on shouting, there were people around me, him who thought he was making too much noise. And they would tell him to keep quiet. Shut up, blind Bartimaeus. You're making noise. Can't you see that Jesus is busy? But blind Bartimaeus never stopped. He kept calling, Jesus! Jesus! Son of God! Son of David! Have mercy on me! Voila! You know what? Jesus had him. And Jesus stopped. Oh, Jesus is so kind. He would have chosen to go on with his, in his journey, on his journey. He would have chosen to ignore blind Bartimaeus. But Jesus stopped and listened and he heard Bartimaeus calling. And he ordered the men around him to bring Bartimaeus to him. I'm sure he said with a big voice. Commanding them, ordering them. Hey, who is that calling? Can you bring him here now? And the people, the same people who are telling Bartimaeus to keep quiet, went to him. And they told him, Bartimaeus, you know what? Jesus is calling you. He wants to talk to you. 
And Pastor Maya got so excited. <laughs> you said Jesus? <laughs> oh, you said Jesus is calling me? Oh my, oh my. He threw his coat and he sticked out. And the people guided him to Jesus. He was so excited. And when he reached where Jesus was, Jesus asked Patimaya a question. This is what he asked him. What do you want me to do for you? And Batimaeus, without wasting time, because he wanted, he knew what he wanted. He needed to see. He knew that if only he could get where Jesus was, he would get his sight. And so he did not say much. He told him, Lord, I want to see. Wow, what kind of faith was this. He was so confident in Jesus. He knew that if only he would reach where Jesus was, he would get his sight. Boys and girls, I want to tell you that Jesus is always ready to hear us. Anytime you call on him, anytime you have faith in him, don't hesitate. Don't listen to many other voices which are discouraging, like the people around him who are telling him to keep quiet. But he never gave up. He kept calling on Jesus. And when he reached where Jesus was, Jesus asked the question. He answered Jesus that he wanted to see. Instantly, Oops, that must be a big word. Immediately. Meaning immediately. But Emmaus got his sight back. Whoa! I can't imagine how excited he was. And he was so happy. Probably the face of Jesus. He saw the face of Jesus for the first. Actually, that was the first thing he saw. The first thing he saw was the face of Jesus. And he got so excited. Oh my, Jesus, I can see, I can see. And he shouted and praised the Lord. And everyone who was around him praised the Lord. They all joined him and they praised the King of Kings, Jesus Christ. It was a miracle. Something only God could do. And do you remember? Jesus, when he was here on earth, he performed many miracles. And I'm sure Batimaeus could remember what Jesus had done, had, had done because he had heard of the miracles he did. I don't know whether you, you recall, you can recall the miracles that Jesus did. Boys and girls, we are always taught in Sunday school. We are given many Bible stories, the miracles of Jesus. Can you recall some of these miracles? Yes? Please share with your friend or your sister. Miracle? We will only mention three. Miracle one. Um, Jesus turned water into wine. Yes, Jesus turned water into wine. Yay! I hope you mentioned that. Second miracle. Mm, Jesus fed 5,000, more than 5,000 people with only two fish and how many loaves of bread? Five loaves of bread. Yes. But Emmaus recalled. 
and it kept, it kept him, it strengthened his faith. Yes? Another miracle that Jesus performed when he was on earth? Mm, I know you've mentioned several. The last one, he healed the lame, the paralyzed. He, he strengthened their bones and they could walk again. He also raised the dead. Those who were dead came back to life again. And so this morning, boys and girls, in our story today, and as we look at the miracles of Jesus, one of them, blind Bartimaeus gaining his sight, lesson number one, have faith in Jesus. Have faith in Jesus. Bartimaeus had faith in God. And that is why he kept calling the name of Jesus. He kept calling and calling. He knew Jesus would hear him. And lesson number two, the Bible says that the ears, the eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are attentive to their cry. The ears of the Lord are always attentive to our cry. Don't hesitate to call upon God. No matter what, no matter what the noise is like, the, 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 the bad people who were unkind to Bartimaeus and they told him unkind words, he kept on calling. So keep on calling. Usiskize maneno mengine ya shetani. You could be sick and the enemy is telling you, hmm, you will not get healed. That is a lie from the devil. Just the same way as the people there were telling Bartimaeus to keep quiet. Keep calling on Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm sure the Lord has ministered something to your hearts this morning through our Bible story. Bartimaeus was, that was a physical blindness. But there is a more serious blindness. The blindness of the heart. Which is brought by sin. And the Bible says that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So we were all born sinners. And until you accept Jesus, you invite Jesus to come in your heart, there is no way he will remove that blindness. And maybe you're here this morning and you've never invited Jesus to come into your heart and remove that blindness, erase that sin. And today you want to surrender to Jesus. And you're calling, just like Bartimaeus, called on Jesus, needing his mercy. I want you to raise your hand and say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for the gift of life. Thank you that you came and died on the cross for my sin. This day, I come to you as a sinner. I need forgiveness from you. Wash me. Wash the sin from me. Take away the sin and make me whole again. Take away the blindness in my heart and give me sight again. Remove my name from the book of death and write my name in the book of life. I am born again. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I receive you, Jesus, as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. 
Wow! Thank you very much, boy or girl, mom or dad, auntie who has said that prayer with us. And you know what? Even the angels in heaven are celebrating because Jesus is now Lord of your heart. Amen. As we continue, I want us to do our memory verse for the day. And I will invite teacher Rebecca to come and help us with the memory verse. Karibu sana, teacher Rebecca. Good morning, boys and girls. My name is teacher Rebecca. I am here to help us with today's memory verse. Today's memory verse comes from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 33, verse 3. And it says, Call to me, and I will answer you, and tell you great and unsearchable things that you do not know. Have you heard that? Let's say it together. Jeremiah, chapter 33, Verse 3, call unto me and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things that you do not know. I believe you've got it. Anyone who can say it alone? Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3. It says, Call unto me, and I will answer you, and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. Thank you. I believe you've got it. Keep memorizing throughout the week. Tell your friends your memory verse today. Come next week. I will hear and know who is able to say it. Let's say it the last time. Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3. Call unto me, and I will answer you, and tell you great and unsearchable things that you do not know. Thank you, and God bless you. Wow. Thank you, Teacher Rebecca for helping us with a memory verse, which is reminding us to call on Jesus. And when we call him, he will hear us. Boys and girls, I hope and believe that you have been blessed. And I want us to tie, have a time of giving. Yes, giving is also part of worship to God. And you can check on our Pay bill number is written on the screen. You can tell mom or dad to help you give your offering. Yes. Thank you very much. We are going to pray a closing prayer. Our hands together. Our heads we bow and our eyes we close. Almighty God, we want to thank you. Thank you for your word. Thank you for reminding us that we should have faith in you. And like Bartimaeus had faith in you and he called upon you, and Father, you, you, you listened, you heard him, and you touched him. Jehovah, I pray that we will always call upon you. No matter what, we will always trust in you. Because Jesus, our help comes from you. We will always have confidence in your name, Jesus. For your name is a strong tower, and the righteous find safety in him. King of glory, I want to thank you for every boy and girl 
who has listened to your word this morning. How I pray that, Lord God, there may be doers, there will be doers of your word and not only listeners, oh God, that we will walk according to this word and practice it. Lord God, I commit every boy and girl before you as they go about their, their, their duties, Lord, during the week, as they play, as they mingle with their friends, I pray for your protection upon each of them, Lord. May you watch over us, O oh God, throughout the week. Lord God, I also want to remember those who have needs in our midst, O oh God. Father, there could be some of us who are unwell. May you stretch forth your healing hand and touch them and heal them, O oh God. Some of our parents have lost their jobs, have lost their businesses because of this monster, Corona. Oh, dear Lord, I pray that very soon this Corona will be out of our lives and we will go back to our normal lives and you will give back our parents who've lost their jobs, you will restore back their jobs and their businesses, oh God. We thank you, Lord, because you are a good God, and you are a kind God, and you are a miracle worker. Lord God, we honor you, and we bless you. We pray this, believing and trusting in the mighty name of Jesus, and everybody say, Amen. Thank you, boys and girls. I wish you a beautiful week ahead. Please take care, keep safe, remember to put on your little masks, wash your hands, and keep distance. God bless you, and see you next Sunday. Thank you. Miracles. Miracles. He healed the sick. He raised the dead. He fed five thousand people. The miracles of Jesus are wonderful indeed. Here I stand in the book of John that you'll find when you read. The miracles of Jesus are wonderful indeed. Here I stand in the book of John that you'll find when you read. In chapter 2 of John, we find a big surprise. Jesus took the water and he turned it into wine. Chapter 4 to Jesus, a noble man appealed. Jesus spoke the living word, the dying son was healed. A sick man was lying by the pool. Jesus said, take up thy bed and walk. That man was better too. In chapter 6, a picnic lunch fed 5,000 men. With two small fish, five loaves of bread, Jesus fed them. eyes like Jesus said and then had perfect sight in John 11 43 Jesus said come forth Lazarus rose from the dead when he heard that voice